Well, they offer a fusion of Middle Eastern dishes from multiple countries, and you won't believe what type of decor this Detroit restaurant has. April Morton takes us inside to see SIBO for this week's Dine in the D. Elegance, style, and live palm trees? We take care of those regularly to keep them up and nice. We even have grow lights that go off in the mornings to keep them a little extra spruce through the Michigan winters. And if having real life palm trees inside a Michigan restaurant isn't unique enough, check out the wide variety of dishes here at Chibo, located inside the Cambria Hotel in downtown Detroit. Our restaurant is a Mediterranean restaurant focusing on Italian, Middle Eastern, and Greek flavors. You might even also find a little bit of North African flavors mixed in there. Executive chef James Sumter says they wanted to stand out from other Mediterranean restaurants and not stick to just one region. Uh, as far as the Middle Eastern flavors go, you're going to find some Lebanese influences, you're going to find some Israeli influences. Uh, we don't really have a particular country that we're trying to stick to. Um, so this dish, for instance, is the halal half chicken uh, that's kind of like chicken shawarma marinade meets uh, like a French preparation on the same plate. But this is a mussels dish, which you can find on the lunch and the dinner menu. It's kind of like shakshuka meets mussels. You've got a tomato, spicy broth, simmered with mussels and merguez sausage. It's a North African lamb sausage. Um, Kanafe, uh, so this is uh, shredded like wheat essentially, like uh, kind of like phyllo dough, baked over cheese with a rose water syrup and a blood orange sorbetto on top. The halloumi, uh, so we've got beautiful grilled cheese, a little bit of our sunflower zatar spice, and for spring, we switched it up and we went with pea tendrils and some mashed up minted peas. Then you got a little bit of uh, saba sprinkled over it, which is kind of like the grape must of balsamic. It's like a thicker, sweeter balsamic. You have the whole fried bronzino, probably another one of my favorites and a huge seller. We marinate the bronzino in kind of like a herb garlic batter. Then we dredge it in flour and fry it, mix with a little bit of tabbouleh on the side so you can kind of eat them together. Well, April joins us live from Chibo, which is just down the street. Good morning, April. <laughs> Hey, good morning, Tati. Yeah, I literally walked down here. That's the first time, probably the last time, but we're right down the street from the station. And joining me now is Executive Chef James Sumter. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. All right. So we, of course, talked about in the story your um, lunch and your dinner options, but you also offer breakfast. Talk to yeah. me about what we have here. Yes, we do. Uh, we start breakfast during the weekdays from 6 a.m. and on Saturdays and Sundays from 7 a.m. Okay. Uh, so let me tell you about a couple of dishes. In front of you, you've got the bread pudding French toast. Mm. Make a really large bread pudding, slice it like it's toast, and caramelize it with some sugar and some figs and dates, a little bit of coffee sauce. And so I have my fork um, because later on I'm going to dig into this. So I have it ready on hand. All right. This looks delicious. What is that there? Uh, this is like our southern meats, Middle Eastern. We've got a Middle Eastern marinade, kind of like chicken shawarma, but then we fry it kind of like a southern fried chicken topped on top of a biscuit because, fun fact, the first food I ever made in my life was a biscuit when I was eight years old. Really? Yep. Oh, that's so sweet. Yep, grandma's biscuits. Love it, love it. So this was destined for you. Yeah, always got to have a biscuit. I love that. And um, so you all credit yourselves on being an allergy-conscious restaurant. Talk to me about that. Yeah, fun fact, uh, we are a nut-free peanut-free, sesame-free facility already. So if you come here, there's none of it anywhere in the facility, so you have no worries. And if you come in, say, gluten-free or shellfish allergy, we handle it specially. We have a special tag. It goes to the expo. They follow your food as it travels to you. I, I love that. And how um, did that come about here? Well, one of the owner's uh, children has an extreme sesame nut allergy, can't even have like chickpeas, for instance, because they're related. Uh, if, you, if he eats some and then goes home to his child, they, you know, if he gives them a hug, he may actually give them an allergic oh, reaction. Wow, wow. We don't think about that. That's amazing because there's so many people out here struggling with food allergies. That's amazing. So um, how did the idea of having such a wide variety, um, menu variety, come about? 
Well, I think part of it might have to do with a little dash of my experience, but we wanted to have some of the Italian, the Greek, and the Middle Eastern flavors because, I mean, let's be real, right? Detroit is a very diverse place. Exactly. I, I love that, how you all just don't stick to one region. You just kind of spread, you know, the um, flavors throughout. I Thank love you. that. All right, so um, this space, this is beautiful. We talked about the live palm trees here. It kind of gives you a sense of a restaurant like in Miami somewhere. Right. Look at these. That's, that's <laughs> amazing. That, it's just gorgeous. You walk in here, you're like, this is a beautiful place. Um, so in addition to just a restaurant, you also have this space for events. Anything coming up? Uh, well, we do industry nights on Sundays. Uh, we do wine Wednesdays, and we're getting ready to add uh, something for like a shellfish and kind of sashimi, but well, they call it crudo in Italian. Uh, so kind of doing like a raw bar night as well. Oh, that's that's awesome. So people will get a chance to come in and just kind of take the, the ambiance in here. Speaking of ambiance, uh, we also have a live DJ every night. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. This, that's Seems like a lot of fun. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, and the weather is warming up. I know your windows here open up, mm -hmm. and that is, is just going to be a gorgeous thing. Yep, mm -hmm. hashtag sunsets at Chibo. Okay, I like that. Okay, so to my favorite part, the tasting of the food. So, like I said, I have my fork ready, and uh, I'm going to try this. So tell me what, is, what this is again. So you've got a date and fig uh, compote. So it's uh, dates and figs cooked with sherry wine. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a white chocolate mousse off to the side with a little bit of mascarpone in it uh, and then we've got brioche bread that's been cooked with like a custard mm. nice <laughs> that's that's really good I'm tasting all those flavors everything you just said I'm actually tasting it all in that bite so we're gonna head back to Tati and Aaron at the studio and um, what do we you already, have for them there we already started oh, well, Tati eating. has in front of her what? grilled swordfish it's yeah. a gluten-free dish <laughs> uh, that comes with Jerusalem artichokes it's a new dish for the spring menu mm -hmm. um, and then we've got the halal half chicken um, which kind of illustrates uh, how we have so many halal offerings here because there is a large MENA population around Detroit, mm -hmm. uh, Middle Eastern and North African. Uh, so you can find chicken, lamb, beef, all those things halal here in our restaurant. Um, the halal half chicken is kind of great. It's like our take on uh, chicken shawarma. We take a, a half chicken, completely debone it, and then glaze it with its own juices. Uh, it's sous vide and grilled. Awesome. Guys, I lost the connection, so I can't hear you all, but I know you all are enjoying what you have there. Definitely. And Tati, I believe you have the swordfish. Yes. I'm going to enjoy this. Can you let us know where you're located, how people can get more information about the restaurant? Great, thank you. Um, 600 West Lafayette, uh, right inside of the Cambria Hotel. We have a whole bunch of other kitchens here, six total, uh, so you'll find a lot of experiences. Uh, go to CambriaDetroit.com to find out more information. That's delicious. James, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you. Okay.